Welcome back to another video of Mr. Rakshat. Today we are in Cambridge, a city full of life and joy with such great architecture and so much history. Let's go have a look around Cambridge. The historic square in the Cambridge city centre has a wide range of stalls which have been open since the Middle Ages. They're open Monday to Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and you'll find a wide range of goods such as street food, books, fresh vegetables, CDs and more. During our walk around Cambridge, we spotted this beautiful vintage Bentley. We are now at the King's College, Cambridge, and it forms a part of the 31 constituent colleges that make up the University of Cambridge. This college was founded by King Henry VI in 1441. If you're here at Cambridge, a punting is definitely a must do. It is pretty much a boat ride along the river Cam where you pass by the Trinity College and there are so many beautiful buildings along this river.
And on my right, we've got the new Court St. John, built in 1830. Pretty much everything we're now going to see, give or take one or two buildings, is all student accommodation. This here, a very famous bridge, the Bridge of Sighs, like a, oh, sigh. This one here was built in 1831, and it's one of four bridges sized in the world. The first and most famous one being built in Venice, in Italy. And the other two being in Oxford, and quite a strange place, Las Vegas. Other way for me, other way for me. There you go, perfect, thank you, no worries. A bit more towards you that way again now. Other way, away, other way, away. That's it, lovely, thank you. Oh, no worries. So this bridge here, they call it the Bridge of Sighs. And uh, when it was first built, Queen Victoria, she came under Cambridge. And she said, it looked like the Bridge of Sighs in Venice. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen that bridge there, but it doesn't look very much like the one in Venice. And I think it was Queen Victoria. She'd never actually been to Venice. She'd only ever seen the Bridge of Sighs in portraits and sketches. And she was actually partially blind in one eye. But she decided to divorce the people she was with. Well, that looks like the British size in Venice, doesn't it? And we don't know if it was a good people back then were just too scared of her, or were just taking the mick out of her. But they all answered with, yeah, yeah, of course it does, yeah. And so because of what they said, she named it the Bridge of Size. And it's been known as that ever since. Dates back to 1546, when it was first founded by Henry VIII. One of his last ever acts of foundry, Mr. French. When he died, he left a substantial amount of money and lands them in his will. So, this college, they earned the land in which the O2 Arena is on, here in London. They're on the south side of the Philipstone Docks. And they say if you can walk from Cambridge to Oxford without ever leaving, Trinity owned land. They actually have a net worth of nearly 1.4 billion and are the third wealthiest landowner in the UK. This is a college where Sir Isaac Newton studied and it's also where A.A. A. Mill studied, the writer of Winnie the Pooh. Now Trinity College just seems to be very wealthy, very prestigious. Now although all that is true, they have had one or two bad students. Probably the worst one being, believe it or not, Prince Charles. Now we say that because Prince Charles' grades were so bad at first that he was rejected as Bar Trinity. And the only reason they eventually let him in was because the Queen at the time hand wrote Trinity a letter, basically recommending Charles, telling them what a great student he'd be to have. When the Queen hand writes you a letter, you can't really say no to her request. So they let him in. Now, normally, on the first day, your mum, your dad, your guardian, they bring you in, they bring your stuff down. Charles, he didn't do that. He arrives one day later than everybody else, and he arrived by helicopter on the front lawn just here, just to show up who he was. He then walked up to the college and demanded the entire top floor as his own suite and was granted it. This after saying, I want to be treated like everybody else. Punting is a must do in Cambridge. You can pretty much see a lot of Trinity College and a lot of really cool attractions and places in Cambridge on a punt. You can even rent your own punt and then kind of push it, do it yourself, provided you can figure out how to use it. Cambridge is a beautiful and a historic city which has honestly changed the world. It is home to more Nobel Prize winners than in any other city. If you are coming down to Cambridge, I would recommend staying here for a day or two. I was here for just a day and just quickly walked around the city. If you're here for just one day, a pun the punting is definitely a must do as you pretty much cover a lot of scenic spots. 
within Cambridge. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave it a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and drop a comment to share your thoughts on this video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.